Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek, and today we're reviewing the Fouquier Libra, a fat tire electric bike with two seats. Let's check it out. The Fouquier Libra is somewhere between a typical step-through e-bike and an electric moped. It's got a normal bike seat and actually pedals pretty decently, which makes me think of it more like a typical e-bike. But then it's also got those small diameter fat tires, a long bench seat on the rack, dual coil over shocks, and generally gives that moped-like feel, which pushes me back into the moto column. But whatever you call it, this e-bike has some serious bang for your buck. Consider that for the $1,199 price tag, you're getting a lot here. There's a 750 watt motor putting out 1,000 watts of peak power and a top speed of 31 miles per hour, plus a fairly large 720 watt hour battery and full suspension, not to mention all those other nice perks like LED lighting, fenders, etc. Did I mention this thing is just 1200 bucks also? How are they doing this? Well, I can kind of tell you, they do cut a few corners, which of course helps save a bit of cash. For starters, that fork isn't super rigid. When I brake hard in the front, I can feel it starting to flex, which is a giveaway that it's kind of cheap. Then there are the mechanical disc brakes. Nothing wrong with them per se, but considering this is an 80 pound bike with a claimed 400 pound weight capacity, they should really be nicer hydraulic disc brakes. Though again, that surely would have pushed the price tag up to get nicer brakes like those. Oh yeah, and I'm not sure this speedometer is really that accurate, since blowing past speed traps seems to not correlate with the displayed speed on the bike, though that is pretty common for e-bike speedometers to read a few miles per hour optimistically, so I can't hold it against them too much. But even if the claimed 31 mile an hour top speed is really only more like 28 miles per hour, that's still pretty darn good, and it means you're maxing out the allowable class 3 speed. And speaking of optimistic, don't expect to achieve the 60 miles of range that they claim. I found that 25 miles of range on throttle only was more in keeping with reality, though granted I'm sure you could get that actual 60 miles if you stuck it in pedal assist level 1, but who's going to do that? The bike is admittedly better for pedaling than I expected, and especially for a moped style e-bike, it actually pedals pretty nicely. That's probably because it has a real bicycle seat that's actually adjustable, instead of a single long bench seat like we find on many moped style e-bikes. The only weird thing about pedaling though, is that the frame area that wraps around the battery is so wide that every now and again I kind of rub my ankles on it, which is a weird thing to feel on a bike. But you get used to how to place your feet on the pedals, so it doesn't really happen that much after the first day or two, it just kind of strikes you as odd when you first get on the bike. Though that also brings me to another foot related complaint, that the bike doesn't have foot pegs in back. Why are you giving me this awesome bench seat on back that I could conceivably carry a friend on, but you're leaving off the foot pegs for their feet? What are they supposed to wear, roller skates? But again, for just 1200 bucks, I kinda don't mind having to find some aftermarket foot pegs to add. And if you're feeling really fancy, you can even spring an extra 100 bucks to get one of the 50 limited edition versions of the Fouquier Libra bike. That's actually what this one is. It's number one of 50, which means it's probably gonna sell at auction one day for like a million bucks or wind up in Jay Leno's garage or something, right? All right, maybe not. I'm not sure there's a huge market for limited edition electric bikes, but it's still kind of cool. I also like this color of the limited edition bike, which they call chameleon, but it's kind of a glittery light blue color. The other two non-limited edition colors are yellow or gray, which aren't quite as interesting, but hey, how much can you complain for the price? At the end of the day, you're getting a super fast, powerful, and comfortable e-bike with full suspension, plus a complete commuter package of lights, fenders, and a rack, all for a song. Did they cut corners on the bike? Definitely. Is it something that's going to make me pass over this one? Definitely not. I'd recommend this one to family and friends for its serious bang for your buck, even despite the few quirks found in the bike. All told, I'd say it's a great deal for anyone looking for a fast and powerful e-bike, at least that doesn't mind one that weighs 80 pounds. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Fouquier Libra. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.